In this video, I'm gonna be sharing a step-by-step -step process for how to set up your landing page in the free version of MailChimp. So the reason why you might be wanting to set up a landing page is to collect email addresses if you don't have a website currently. If you do have a website, I would probably try and create a landing page throughout that platform. However, if you'd prefer to do it through MailChimp itself, maybe the designs are a bit more user-friendly for you, then this is gonna be how you do it. While there's lots of different software out there that can set up landing pages for you, like ClickFunnels or lead pages, the MailChimp platform is a really nice place to start because it's totally free. So you can set up this landing page as part of your free account if you're getting started with email marketing using MailChimp. By using the one platform, it will simplify the process because MailChimp will be taking care of all the grunt work and work out how to add your email address into a list, which then you can send emails to via a newsletter or a campaign or any automations that you already have set up. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so now we're in MailChimp in the free version. So I don't use MailChimp anymore. However, this is a test account I use for any free tutorials, free MailChimp tutorials I want to share with you guys. So what we need to do is click on the little crayon up here, click create, and then click landing page. So we'll create a landing page name. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna just be using it in reference uh, of creating a lead magnet or your freebie. So this is that value packed piece of content that you're going to be giving to your audience in return for their name and their email address. So let's just call this landing page Michael Content Upgrade. And we'll select an audience. So these were already pre-selected. So these are things that I've you know, lead magnets I've created in the past. So let's just call it YouTube freebies. So you want to make sure you select an audience that's relevant to this particular freebie or create an audience specifically for this freebie because you want to be able to target communication to them in the future. So then we click begin. So now we want to select a template. Uh, these are all pretty simple uh, and they're all fine. Let's just go with the lead generation one, the first one that's come up on the list and this is a new one. So let's go ahead with this one. So because you're using this as a way of giving your free content to your audience in return for their email address, that is a lead generator. So what we mean by a lead is someone that potentially wants to buy from you or book into your services in the future. So we add in our logo. So for your header here, you wanna make this something that really captures the attention of your audience and speaks to the pain point that you're going to be solving with this free lead magnet. So for the sake of this tutorial, let's just say, uh, let's just call it how to get more leads using a lead magnet. Then in here, I would just keep it super simple and just say what it is that this lead magnet, this particular content upgrade is going to be about, whether it is you know, a tutorial, a guide, a template, a checklist, those sorts of things. So my complete guide for getting more leads featuring my 10 strategies to grow your email list using a lead magnet. All right, so say here, download my cool content upgrade here. So whatever you're gonna call it, just don't call it that. <laughs> And then just add first name as well and make sure that's required. So the reason why I like to add first name, we don't need last name, it's not relevant. First name's important because if you are adding mail mergers to your email campaigns in the future, where you wanna actually have their name come up in your emails, you'll need their first name. Then I would change the button text to download now. Um, and let's change it to our colors. Okay, so I've changed this little section here where you've got your actual email address and name and download button. I've gone into style, I've changed the color. So my color 
Uh, my text color is this dark green and then I've also changed my button to this pink with white text. I've changed it to my font as well. Uh, and if you do like round corners on your buttons, you can do that too, but I prefer the flat one. And then you want to add in the confirmation message. So say, uh, check your inbox for my, my cool content upgrade. And then I just go back and change the text here to make sure the fonts are all the same. And then you can use this section here to talk a little bit more about you, what are your services, maybe share your social links, uh, if there's any other blog articles you'd really like them to read or a product you'd like them to look at. Okay, so I've input my stuff in the bottom here. Just uh, so I've got new to email marketing. Does email marketing intimidate you? These resources are going to make getting started simple and pain free. So I've got a link to my course, my email like a boss course, and then a link to my the content society free membership. So I've added these two images in just from by simply clicking on this section here and column one which is that there is this here and then column two is this here. So column one, if you want to change the image, you just go replace and then select whatever image you want, upload a new image there. Let's just get out of that. And then instead we want to add a link. So I want this image to be linked to my course. So that link is added and then column two, I want this image to link to my Facebook group. If you want to see these links in action, maybe you want to join my membership or my course, then those links are below. So one thing you really want to make sure you take note of is making sure that any social links are actually linking to your socials. So if you click on this as a template, it's just going to send you to the generic page. So let's just make this my pages and then go save. And to change this background color, cause this orange is horrible. Let's change it to one of my brand colors. That's better. And change this light pink as well, a uh, light yellow. I don't know, that doesn't look quite right, but you get the gist. Um, so someone comes in and lands on this landing page. They'll be able to download your lead magnet. Maybe you've included it in a YouTube video, a blog, on your social media, wherever. They can download that, but then once they've downloaded it, they'll get that success message and then they can actually say, oh, maybe these are the tools that I actually need as well. So it's a really great way of getting people straight from downloading your lead magnet into anything else that you offer. So let's click on preview. Hmm, why is that coming up as yellow? Let's have a look. Okay, I hadn't saved it properly. There we go. Now it's now it's coming up how it should. Great, so that looks really nice. I'm really happy with the design of that. Your new subscriber will just put their email address, their first name and click download now. From here, you'll send them a welcome email with a link to that piece of content. If you don't know how to set up the welcome email in MailChimp, then go and watch my video on how to do that now. It's really easy to do, and I also include a free sample of the copy that you can literally copy and paste into that email so you don't have to worry about writing all those words and figuring out what you should say in that email. And then we click save and close. So now we just want to edit the URL. So I would call it, um, oh, Michael Content Upgrade, that's fine. So we'll just click save. Now you just copy this and save it anywhere that you need to uh, link to this page, whether that be on your Instagram. If you're putting it directly on your Instagram, I would go to bit.ly and make this a shorter link. So just go to bit.ly.com and paste it and then go shorten. And then just comes up with a nice bit.ly link. So then just go copy and then copy that to your Instagram. But if we're happy with that, if we're happy with everything the way it's set up, then I would click publish. 
And then next step is I'd highly recommend you just put in your own email address and name, click the download now button and just make sure everything's coming to you the way you expect it. Testing out any automations is really important in your process because often things go wrong. So you just want to make sure it's looking right before you send it out to your audience. So now you've created your landing page. Yay, go you. But the next step is actually sending out an automated welcome email. So if you have no idea where to start with that, you're not alone, It's but it's really easy to set up. I've created a whole video, which you can watch now, which takes you through that process, as well as shares a sample template. So you can literally copy and paste my words into your email so you don't have to worry about getting started with what to say in that email. I hope you've loved this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment below if you've got any questions about how to set up a landing page in MailChimp. And as always, if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release new videos about email marketing and content strategy, tutorials, tips, all that sort of fun stuff. So if that's something you're needing help with in your business, then click subscribe. But that's it for me for today. So until next time, I'll be back here with another video I know you're going to love. So until then, bye for now.